Okay, so moving right along. Um, now we're on to the Sega Genesis. So, again, it was uh, uh, one controller, AV, port, power supply, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, only work, uh, repair and clean. Does work, but only in cartridge held in a certain way. Huh. Okay, so let me get uh, let me get some power to it. Let me get some AV cables hooked up, and uh, we'll see what's going on. Okay, we got power to it. We got uh, some AV hooked up. Um, let's go old school. Let's uh, throw in a little golden axe here. Let's see what happens. Whoa. No power. What the hell? Does work. Does work. Wow, that's a that's a lie. What the hell's going on here? No power. You got a bad switch here? We got bad power cable or something? Oh, uh, oh, oh, what do we got going on here? Let me, yeah, okay, let me back out here. Is that what we, this is on, right? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, okay, so that's got to be fixed. That's off. That's on. Do we get a bad power connector? Oh. Uh, yep. Yes, we do. Okay, so we got a bad DC port. Let me see if I can get that angled the right way so it stays that way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We might have to break the soldering iron on this one. Give me two seconds here. Yeah, I cannot get it to fire up. I know it's not the I know it's not my cord because uh I use this literally for my Sega when I play it. I know it's not that. Come on. Or is it? What the heck is going on here? That is awfully loose. Like, awfully loose. Yeah, it can't be. It can't be the cable. Okay, you know what? Stop right there. Let's take it apart. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get this apart here. Now, I don't know if... Uh, let's get this set up properly here. I don't know if this has ever been uh, taken apart or not, but... Uh, we're going to find out here right now, aren't we? Oh, yeah, this might have been. It might have been. I wonder if he, uh... I wonder if he just plugged it in and had it on the right angle and just... Didn't realize it also had a bad DC jack. I wonder if it's got the uh, the right protective cover for uh, the Sega CD. Oh, that's never been opened. Yeah, it does. It absolutely does. Okay, so I doubt that that's ever been used. That's probably going to be a bitch to get back on. Yeah. Yeah, never been never been taken off. Okay, so uh, screws have been removed. Let's get the cover off here. Come on, you. Mm, that might be just dirty. 
Yeah, that's probably just dirt and stuff in there causing that problem. These were never great switches in here to begin with. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the DC jack here. Um, let's get some, let's shed some light on the situation here. Let's just see if that is actually... Oh yeah, that's moving. Can you see that? Oh, that's all over the place. Yeah, that is all over the place. Let's turn that off. Let's back that out. Oh yeah, that is literally all over the place. Yeah, that's... <sighs> Okay, let's uh, let's get the shielding off, get the board out. We'll service the DC jack, and then I, I don't need to put it back in to test it and everything. So we'll just test it with it uh, with it out of the case. Before we do that, let's just take a quick visual look here, a quick inspection here of what we can see on the board. Like, do we see anything? Anything nasty? Do we see anything nasty in the pins here? Let me get you right in there. Like I can see some dirt and stuff around some of these vias and stuff. Like that's, I mean, you gotta expect that, right? Um, anything wrong with these caps up in here? Just saying, because he said something about, because he said the cartridge in a certain spot here. And uh, that's not uh, that's not the case. Well, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's take a good look at these pins here. Uh, I mean, they're a little tarnished, but I don't see anything that would suggest you know, you know corrosion, or it would only work if like if you. If you held the cartridge to a certain side, you know, pushing up against the pins. I don't see anything like that. Um, now, for the Model 2 here, I know there's some weird screws here. Um, yes, the black, black, and then I think black over here somewhere, right? Yep, black here, and then there's not anything over here. Um, the cartridge port and the shield is just one. Does that look like it's been taken out before? That looks higher. This may have this somebody may have been in this before. Hmm. Uh, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six gold screws. One, two, three here, and then the two here. Okay, yeah. So, anyways, same thing. I'm just gonna remove this, take it out, test it, repair this jack and then we'll move on okay so i've removed um the three black screws and yeah i'm right i went to remove this screw right here and i am absolutely positive somebody's been in here before look look at this look how much further that could have went uh, could that have been like that from factory from 90 um uh, one of these models come out 92 92, 93. Yeah, see, that one was all the way in. I'm going to assume somebody was in here already. Maybe they were looking at what the problem was back here and, you know, just didn't put that one down. Not that that's a big deal. That's not going to hurt anything. But, you know, it does give me an indication that somebody was in here. So let me remove this and I'll be back. Okay, so let me remove uh, the cartridge slot. a pain one two that should release the board unless I'm missing a screw which 
I don't think I am. Mm, am I? What did I just drop? <laughs> I don't know what I dropped. Um, oh, is it this holding it in place? I can't remember. Sometimes you do so much of these, you no, no, that shouldn't hold. No, no, that should be all right. Oh, Aaron. Jesus. Okay, bottom of the shield, that looks good. Top of the shield, that looks good. Now let's check, uh, let's check this barrel jack. Mm, that looks good. Is it my cable? Oh, that does. That looks good, actually. Oh. Maybe it is my cable. Well, that sucks. When did that happen? Like, I thought that was loose. It looked loose. I mean, it kind of is, but... No, I'm, I'm sorry. That's not the issue. So it must be my cord. Where is that? By the way, that's probably what I dropped. Um, that's funny because I was literally just using this for my 32X. I was literally just using this for my 32X. Oh, now it's... Oh. What is, go what is going on? Is it the cable? Or is it this? No, it's definitely not. It's, it's my cable. It's got to be. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, it's definitely not... Uh... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, uh... Let's end this theory right now. Let's get the multimeter on here. Let's just see. Do we have good power? This is going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Give me two seconds here. Well, it seems to me like I have good voltage, and I am moving this cable all over the place, and... Uh, it seems good. So it's got to be here. It has to be. It is absolutely the internals of the jack. 100%. Yeah. I have tested this numerous times. Numerous, numerous times. And uh, yeah. It's fine. It's the internals here. So let me remove this jack. See if I can't repair what's going on. See what's going on. And then uh, go from there. Okay. I'm just going to hit this with the soldering iron i don't know if there's a micro fracture that i'm not seeing here or what but i'm just gonna hit it with some flux just gonna hit it real real quickly here make those look nice and pretty again because they were a little a little white there. Okay, that looks good to me. Now, uh, let me apply power, and then I'll uh, I'll probe. I'll probe the contacts here and see what happens. Okay, so let's uh, let's apply power. That is all the way in. Let's apply power. Let's just see what happens if we turn it on. What do you know? What do you know? Yep. What do you know? It must have just had a micro fracture that I just could not see. Okay, perfect. That works for me. Um, let's start testing. Let's see what happens. I don't know if maybe he... Uh, yeah, like, like we're good. Like I knew. Like we're good. And I'm using the same... I'm using the same connector, same one. It just it must have had a micro fracture somewhere. 
Okay, good stuff. So again, let me set up the AV here because I don't like I don't like to dig for my other stuff, so I just use I just use clip leads. Uh, let me get that all set up, and then uh, we'll do some testing. Okay, so in theory, uh, that's all we need is uh, composite ground. I just used left audio. Excuse me. Um, um, let's start with uh, let's start with golden axe here. Let's just see what happens. Uh, let me get you zoomed out here so we can take a look at uh, exactly what is happening here and. Let's uh, let's get you stood up. Let's get you stood up like. Uh... No, that's not gonna work, is it? Hang on here, one second. Uh, okay, that should be better. Let's uh. I know this cart is clean, and it, yeah, it is super clean. Come on, give me a, there it is. <laughs> okay, uh, this might be a shorter video than, uh, Seems like that could probably use a uh, probably use a clean. Let's try a game a little later on in uh, the life of Sega. What year is uh, what year is Street Fighter Two came out? I can't even remember. But I think this is an early I think this is an early eighty nine ninety release, and I think this is a two thousand um, two thousand uh, ninety. 293 or something like that. Ooh, what was that? Let's reset that. What the hell was that? Capcom. Oh no, okay, that was normal. Okay. Uh, let's get, um... Let's get his controller <laughs> that he supplied. And let's see if, uh... Let's see if it's as bad as the other controllers he supplied. Oh yeah, I can already tell. Hang on here, one Okay, this, uh, this controller looks a little beat up. It might just be dirty, but it... Mm, I'm just hoping it's not beat up. Those they, that feels all right. Oh, the D-pad feels good. No, the D-pad feels actually really good. This is gonna suck for playing this game, but whatever. Hopefully, we don't have an issue there. You can see how. Want want, but uh, let's get this plugged in here. Start worked great. Down works great. Up works great. Left and right, perfect. Turn on the hyper. Options. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, light, medium, blah. How do you? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Let's just play some Street Fighter. Ryu or Ken? Let's do Ryu. Brazil! Let's just see how well this controller is, because this controller might just need a clean. Woo! Oh, hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. 
I had no control for some reason. Oh. Oh, they gotta be pounded. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to slow that down so we can see what is happening here. They actually felt, they actually feel like they feel okay. Let's just slow that right down. USA. Good tune coming up here. You gotta slam that button. Jeez. Yeah, so it's start to change. Oh yeah, this is disastrous with this controller. Okay, let me go get my six button here. Yeah, let me go get my six button. Hang on one second. Can't test anything with that controller. I got a feeling this I got a feeling this console is uh, I got a feeling this console is fine. After fixing the DC port and giving the uh, cartridge port to a, uh, a clean, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, let's give her the old let's give her the old six button. Oh, actually that yeah that feels way better. <laughs> yeah, okay, she's a little rough. Um, let's, let's just turn that back up. Then let's see how it plays. USSR. I actually have control though. <laughs> Not by much, you couldn't tell, but yeah, I did. <laughs> I forgot how fast that was. That uh, that beefy old seven and a half megahertz Motorola sixty eight thousand. She really pushing. Oh, it looks like we got a little damage here on this port. This controller port, port two. Just for anybody who cares, this is a VA 1.8 USA board. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. Hadouken. I know that through was, I know that throw was coming. That is slow. Is that what the normal game speed was supposed to be? Jeez. That is slow. Okay, let's um let's switch out games here. Let's put uh, golden axe back in. Let's see if we can't recreate that. The struggle it had. Let me get into the game here. Yep. Um, I wonder if we got some shitty pins on the bottom. Because that didn't happen with this, did it? Hmm. actually took that sample from something and I can't remember what it was. Oh, 
back for more. Oh, tough guy. Bling bling. <laughs> oh, I don't know how he get off. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens here. How? Boom! As soon as you touch that, did you see that instantly? Wow. Okay. So at least it's at least it's operational. Um, I should probably go ahead and I'm gonna touch up all the pins on the bottom. I'm gonna clean this out. We've already repaired the DC jack. I will give the shell a good wash. We'll do all that fun stuff. And then uh, we'll go from there. Sound good? Sounds good. And okay, we're gonna start touching up all these joints here. I am just gonna get a little bit of flux here. Just a little bit, not much. Just, just a little bit on these pins, and uh, um, <clears throat> let's see here. Where is? There's that. So we are literally just gonna. Uh, let me, get, uh, let me get some light going on here. Hopefully that's not blurring you guys out. Let's uh, let's see if I can't get you see if I can't get you in here a little bit. Focus down. Ah, come on! Don't do that to me. Let's see if I can't get you focused in. Way. At least somewhat in here. Yeah, it's probably gonna be blurry, right, for you? Yeah, that might kind of, it might work, huh? Can I focus in on that? Maybe. No. Yes. No. Can't really tell what's going on here. Uh, good enough. So like I said, I'm just going to touch these joints up. Hopefully, uh, hopefully my hands don't get in the way. Let me uh, let me get let me get this solder really really long here, so I don't have to get in the shot too much. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to touch these up. Let's get some of that flux going on here. We're just going to touch these up just a little bit. Just like that. You don't need much. I'm just gonna touch all these joints up here. Just in case one's got a bit of a a fracture. Those are empty, eh? No? No, they're there. That's weird. The ones in the middle. The four in the center here are pushed to the sides. That's weird. I'm just going to make these pretty again. I mean, they don't look bad, but... Neither did the barrel jack, but it must have had a micro fracture somewhere in it. The ground plane one here is going to be a little difficult. We're just going to go ahead here. And just. Freshen these up a bit. Now see these four are pushed over. 
I wonder what the uh, I wonder what the thought process was behind that. There had to be a reason for it. Excellent. I'm just going to do a quick look here. Just want to make sure nothing is. Uh, we can do that together. I just want to make sure nothing is. Oh, come on. What's going on there with the focus? Hang on one second. I had to restart the camera there. It wouldn't focus. Anyways. So, yeah, we're just going to do a quick look here. Just gonna do a quick look, make sure there's no uh, no bridges. Uh, can we turn that on a little bit? Yeah, I don't see any bridges. All joints look good. Yeah, all joints look. Uh, yeah, all joints look good. Yep, they look good. Okay. See what I mean by the two and the, the four in the center there are pushed over? I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, those all look good. Yep, they all look good. Okay. So, um... Oh yeah, I just like to look over my work a few times. So yeah, okay. That definitely looks good. Um, <laughs> I guess I can give it a test real quick. Although I still I know that that cart uh, connector is probably absolutely filthy. Let me. Uh, I'll just do. I'll just. Uh, yeah, I'll just do video real quick. Hook it up. Put. Uh, I'll put gauntlet back in here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, we're all connected. Let's grab. Uh, Gauntlet. Let's get you zoomed out here. Flash off. Why is it so in tight? I don't know. Hang on. There we go. I don't know why my camera's acting weird today, but This cart, uh, this cart connector must be uh, seriously dirty. Hmm. What is going on here? It's got to be filthy, right? Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be just right filthy. Okay, let's clean that up. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you know the routine here. You know exactly what's going to happen. Let's get that water hot. I'm just letting the water run here for a second. My water gets hot pretty quick. Yep, that's warm. Pretty warm. Okay. So we'll do, uh, we're gonna do them both at the same time, why not? And goes the bottom shell. And goes the top shell. Get a little of that on there. We'll just let that uh, just let that fill up. Ooh. I'll get this show on the road. Wow, that's hot.
give the shell a good clean. And then uh, we'll go downstairs, back to the lab, and we'll, uh, ooh, Jesus. Um, we'll clean that uh, edge connector, the cart connector. Get in there. I'm gonna get this submerged here. Um, I will use, um, ow, man, that's fucking hot. Get over there, get over there. We'll just use a cup to hold it down. Just like that. Okay, let's go do that edge connector. Okay, edge connector cleaning time. Let's uh, get the cartridge out of here. Clip leads removed. So I'm just gonna go, uh, I'm just gonna go ham on it real quick here. Let me, uh, let me grab grab the tool of the tray here. Uh, let's go over to the sink and uh, clean this up. Okay, all we're going to do here is, uh, just gonna give it a good clean with some isopropyl alcohol here. All right. I decided to go a little more aggressive. Like it's not really, really tough, but it's uh, it it is uh, it, it's sort of coarse. Like, I'm not gonna lie. We're just gonna go back and forth here. I got I need both hands for this, but I just want to show you the motion I'm using. I'm just literally cleaning inside that edge connector. So I thought this was interesting. Look what I pulled out of the edge connector. You see that? Probably not, because it's dark in here now. Let me see if I can't uh, improve that a little bit. What's that? What is that? And what is with this camera not focusing? Well, what is that? Look like a bunch of string to me. I'm going to need something to pick that out. Hang on here. What is that? That looks like a bunch of string to me. Oh, look at that. What is that? Wow. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's cloth. Where's the edge connector? Sorry. Yeah, that was wild. Not exactly sure where that was, but obviously I pulled it from wherever. Because I just went one motion constantly. I was cleaning it up, and it all got pushed over here, so... That big wad of lint or string, whatever that is, that was in there. Okay, we're going to let this dry. We'll take care of the shell. We'll put it all back together. I may make some adjustments to these pins here to make them a little tighter. Um, you don't normally have to do that with a Sega Genesis, but um, yeah, I may want to adjust these a little bit. Okay, I think it's about that time. Now, I do know there's a couple of scratches right here, right on the Sega logo. That's probably not going to be able to be dealt with properly, but I'm sure going to make... Jesus. Man, that's still super, super hot. We don't need it that hot this time. Okay. Um... I will get a new, oh that's not bad, now nah, I'm going to get a new one. I'm going to get a new one going here, and uh, I'll 
we'll start cleaning all this up here. Yeah, that right there is probably nothing. Yeah, that's been hit. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, that took a hit right there, but that's all right. That's all right. Okay, even that's hot. Jeez. Even that's hot. Wow. I think we're gonna pop. I think we're gonna pop these out real quick here. Uh, I wish I would have thought this through. I don't have anything to poke this out with because I can see. I can see the dirt in it. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, okay. When we go downstairs after this dries, I'll pop these out and I'll clean them downstairs. That's what is going on there. That is so strange. That is that goofy. Like I know, I know they've always been loose, right? But never that loose. That's wild. Anyways, okay. Let's sit that top shell aside. We'll give the bottom here a good wipe down and clean. This dry. Yeah, that looks good. Looks real good, actually. Now let's just shut the water off here for a second. Let's just take a good look at this. Let me get a. Let me just wipe that down just real quick. that down with a paper towel actually just so I can see what the actual cosmetic condition is So there is some, there is some damage here. You never really know until you get her clean exactly what is happening here. So uh, I'm gonna use some back to black on this. I mean, it looks good. Don't get me wrong, it's it's super shiny, but I'm gonna use some back to black on some of these spots here and see if I can't get them to really disappear. Okay, so we'll let this dry. That, might, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. So we'll get some back to black on this and then uh, we'll go from there. We'll let all this in here, all this dry and go from there. Okay, while uh, the shell dries, let's, uh, let's see if this made any difference here. Got that in shot. You do now. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. 
Let's get a controller, just so you know I'm not BS in here. Oh, well, obviously, it's still running. <laughs> but, you know, just in case. So, uh, let's do that all in one shot. Controller plugged in. Uh, get a little six button action going on. Let's take the game out. Put it back in. On. Let's get in the game here. And you know, as soon as we touch it, it'll be done. Hey, look at that. You see the text still scrolling? Can't get any better than that. I'm rocking the crap out of that. Can't get any better than that. Man, we used to look at our consoles the wrong way and they would... They would lock up. Come on, give me an opening here. Yeah. Uh, you think you're tough, Abe? Eh? Okay, that works for me. So let's uh, let's do Street Fighter here real quick. And it should be the same outcome. I don't know why this one didn't do it so badly, but oh, I was gonna say, what the hell? <laughs> Hey, what do you know? Let's do a little Ken this time. A little coffee break. Hoo <laughs> Hey now. Kicked your butt. Not really. <laughs> hey now. Back up, fool. Get out of here. Awesome. Okay, good stuff. So, hardware is A-OK. -okay. Uh, what we're going to do about this and the NES controller and the SNES controller, those are going to have to be a separate video and all done at the same time. I'm not going to do one with each one. I'm just not going to do it. I'd rather get the hardware up and running and then worry about peripherals after. Whoa. Ah, uh, that wobbled him, right? Yeah. Uh, perfect. You're damn right it is. All right. Okay. Works for me. Uh, so I guess all we got to do is let it dry, the, uh, the shell. Put it back together and then back to black on it. Okay, shell's dry. Now let's see if we can't make... A little magic happen here. Let's see if we can't make a little magic happen here.
why I am doing it on the well, sitting on the bottom shelf, no idea. Are we getting any dirt off with that? Uh, a little bit. Like I said, I don't know if there's going to be much I can do about a couple of those scratches there. But this is definitely going to make it look much prettier. You really got to work this stuff in. Don't worry about getting it in the, the holes and stuff like that. We can get rid of that later. I can tell already that this is coming out much, much nicer. It might have, it might have taken care of that scratch there, but not, not this one right here. I know my hand's probably in the way. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to get rid of that. We're just going to work this stuff in constantly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that's probably the best it's going to get there. So we're just going to keep working this stuff in all around. Constantly, constantly, constantly working the sides, the edges, the cracks, everything. And then uh, I'll show you the finished product here. I think you can almost pretty much tell just how much nicer that is. Now, I worked that in for a good oh, oof, five, six minutes. First, let's get that one in second. Ah, uh, now I know you can tell just how nice that is. And once this dries and sets into the plastic, that'll be gorgeous. Now I did, I did manage to get rid of the white mark there, but you can tell where it's scuffed right here just like it's scuffed right there and there's not much I can do now as for this plate like I said there's there's really nothing you can do about it I mean it's just it is what it is right but that back to black really brought the shine back to it again you can see those scuffs there let's get you backed out here like it does, it it looks good. So let's get it back together. We'll do one more test and then uh, we'll move on. Okay, we got the top shell done. We got the bottom shell done. I probably just pushed you out of shot, I'm sure it did. Okay, so let's put that right there. Let's get, uh, let's get the bottom shield in. Bottom shield in, uh, cart holder. Why does that seem bent? Weird. Cart holder in. Uh, let's get uh, let's get the board. Let's get the board lined up. I have that backwards. 
Bring up my camera. Oh, so there it goes. Yeah, because those sit in the bottom. Yeah. Why does that seem a little? Why does that seem a little crooked all of a sudden? That is the right way. Because that sits. Yeah, that sits like that. That's the way that's supposed to sit. Oh, it just wasn't sitting. This wasn't sitting right. That's all. Okay. Um, do do do. Let's get the. Uh, Connector screws in. One. That's two. Nice and tight. Sure everything's lined up it is let's get the top shield on if it's just like it's supposed to let's get the uh, let's get the first three screws black screws in One, two, and I believe it's this one here. I probably should go check the footage because I can't remember, but I do believe that's right. Uh, one, two, three, four for the bottom, and then all of these go in. One, two, three. Six. Uh, now we'll take the top cover. Slides right on. Reset feels good. Hey, there we go. That looks good. You know, got that goofy wobble going on. Like they're always loose, but it shouldn't have been like getting stuck and all that other crap. So that's good there. Let's, uh, Get her flipped on her, flipped on her top. Let's go ahead and get uh, four screws here. One. Two, three, and four. Let's get her foot back over here. Let's give her one more raw. Uh, Give her one more rub down here. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. 
Okay, let's do this all in one shot. Let's get uh, let's get uh, ground. Get in there. Let's get ground. Let's get video power. Left or right audio, who cares? Doesn't matter. We don't care. Uh, can you see the screen? You can now. Let's get uh, let's get a six button installed. Gauntlet, gauntlet, <laughs> golden axe, power. Reset functional, power functional. The duel. Oh, cool sound test. Oh, they included a fade out, eh? Huh, cool. Very cool. Okay, let's hit start. Let's do a little. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> oh man, sometimes stuff like that cracks me up. I can't help but let the laugh at that. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just too funny. <laughs> really? Like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just too funny. Like, why would it do that all of a sudden? Oh, <laughs> uh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe I didn't ever press down far enough. Uh, I don't know, but there we go. Uh, I mean, you're not doing that anyways to the console, but... <laughs> I just think that's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there we go. I don't... Yeah, I'm really rocking it there. I'm pushing down on it and... Really getting it rocking there. Yeah. <sighs> that's too funny. But it shouldn't do it now. It should be okay now. Exactly. Okay. Oh, that was just too funny. That just cracked me up. There we go. Okay. Good enough for me. That's another one. Another one in the books. Another one off the page. So now we can... Uh... Take a look here exactly how uh, how nice that looks now. That's much better than what it did look. So, uh, okay. So now we're going to move on to uh, the next one. I'm going to pack this up, get this ready for them, and we're going to move on to the next one. So just like always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.